Hey guys, Jen here from Man and Such and Such and Be Scented. I am doing another one of the soaps that you guys voted for. This is Pink Sugar. Now, it does discolor to a dark brown. <clears throat> so, I will leave portion of it out and um, color it a light pink and a dark pink and then I want to add some dark chocolate mica to the base to help it along and make sure it's an even discoloration and yeah that's all um, I'll yeah that's all we're just gonna get this party started I've got my hard oils in here with my hot life solution and liquid oils in the back, fragrance, coconut milk, and then oats and clay in the liquid oils. And that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> I have two more soaps to make, uh, two more big batches. I hope to get into test soaps also today. Um, if I'll have done that, I'll have made one, two three, four, six five pound batches and then two one pound batches of soap if I get everything done that I want to get done. That's a big chunk there of coconut oil that we're going to try to buzz up. Let me see if I can't chop it up with my blender here. Yeah. Now, before I get going too far, I'm going to grab my two little containers for our color that we're going to not fragrance. That way I don't um, mess up. And fragrance the whole thing. Because you know, that will be no good. Fragrance in the whole thing. Oh, scrape, scrape, scrapey. Sorry, I know I'm always in my in your way when I'm doing this, but I am left-handed. I was gonna do white and pink, but then I thought I would do a pale pink and a dark pink. You know, the pale pink kind of represent the white. <laughs> People ask me if I discount the amount of fragrance I use when I leave portion of it unscented so, uh, and most of the time yes I do um, not by much maybe like a quarter ounce um, is all I'll discount it so let's get Our two pinks portioned out here and make a mess. See, goodness, gloves need gloves. I am out and I have lots of soap to make today. It's okay, it's okay. So let's go ahead because I don't want to get any fragrance in those two colors back here. So let's go ahead and color them. This is going to be our darker pink, and then this is going to be our pale pink. That's wild strawberry, and this is pink pig. I'm going to add a little bit of titanium dioxide. Yeah, there we go. Nice pale pink. Nice dark pink. It's not going to make a hoot if I stick that in that 
back there because it's going to darken the discolor. So we'll put chocolate, chocolate in here. This is just to help it along. We have a base color to start with instead of, you because know, sometimes, um, Fragrance when they discolor, it's kind of spotty. Oops. Fragrance in. like totally awesome I haven't made this soap in a long time thank you guys for suggesting it I'm trying to get out stuff that you know we've not made in a long time and you know all of that. So I did a poll and let you guys pick. Alright, I'm using my finger. I'm gonna I'll clean it off as soon as I'm done. Gosh almighty, I just gave myself a heart attack. And I think I will go through with my chopstick just a little. Just like that. Wipe my fingers off. I think I'm going to do like a his and hers. Um, this is pink sugar and I have blue sugar to make also. And I think I'll do the blue sugar the same way. Um, but with light and dark blue. Because the blue sugar is a mint scent. Oh, I 
think that's a wonderful idea. Now, I think I'm going to use pink glitter on top of this one. And I'll bring you guys back when we go to cut this bad boy. Guys, I am back to cut our pink sugar soap. Here's the top. And see how dark it is. It's much darker than when I made it, okay, which you'll see. You can already see around the edges of the bar the discoloration. Oh, how pretty is that? That is just gorgeous. I'm hoping to get all the keep all the soaps over here until I'm done cutting everything. Because I need to oh pretty. Let's see. This away. Camera. Sorry guys. Um hold on. There we go. Alright, let's see. When it's cut, I want to get a good angle right there so you guys can really see it. Oh, it's so nice. made such a pretty bar of soap. I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm scooting these back so hopefully I have enough room for three batches. And the top is very, very sparkly. I'm going to hopefully get these stamped as long as they stamp well. Oh, I love the delicate swirl. I really hope that it stays. I need to clean off my line. I can't see what I'm doing. on top. Oh, I love it. Let's 
get our samples cut, and we'll be good to go. Thank y'all for watching.